Uh, hello. I wanted to do a vlog today because um, I had a really awesome day today, like so um, surreal or different than what I normally have, like, because um, this is going to be a long video, I think, because I have to do all this, I want to do all the setup and stuff, so I like to go to conventions, like those like comic conventions and you know, pop culture conventions with my friends and stuff. Like in Melbourne, we have Supernova, Armageddon, um, Oz Comic Con, and things like that. And um, usually, I, I really enjoy going. I love going, and um, like I love going to watch the panels and stuff like that. It's really interesting. Um, I love seeing all the costumes, like what, um, people dressed up and stuff. It's awesome. I love taking photos with them. That's always so much fun. Getting to meet all the characters that I love and stuff. And um, yeah, and I think in the last one. Um, Supernova, I had a lot of photos with people and then one of my friends, Jenny, was like, oh, how come you didn't dress up? And I'm like, oh, I just, uh, I, I, I told her the reason was, um, which is true, it was because I have some ideas of what costumes I want to make, but I did, don't know how to sew, so I don't know how to make this costume, because, so, like, I, for, like, um, a long time, like, maybe a year or so since I started watching, um, Adventure Time, uh, and when, when I saw the Lumpy Space Princess, um, uh, I've, I've kind of had my mind like oh that'd be fun to cosplay because um, I think I have this idea of how I would want to make it and like it's something simple sort of thing and I like her character a lot it's so she's awesome everything she does is so funny I, I find really really funny from Adventure Time love the space princess and so um, then after I said that uh, last yeah, this was like a few months ago this thought in my head was like just bubbling away like um I want to get a sewing machine like I just I just wanted one and suddenly like it just popped into my head like it was like brewing at the back of my head like it wouldn't go away and um and then um yeah from the YouTube videos actually because um when you um you get um views like you get like a certain amount of like a few cents and stuff like that so I think over like a couple years and stuff it finally um got to the point where they sent me a uh, uh, like a hundred dollars or something like that and so when I received that I thought I want to spend it on something fun you know like not just paying bills or something like that and so I thought I want to get a sewing the sewing machine thing just came up again and so I thought oh screw it I'm gonna buy a sewing machine so I, I was researching online and um I bought like a Janome 2212 sewing machine like I, I looked it up it was supposed to be like a good beginner one problem is like it's from America and so the voltage I think it's different to here and when I try to use it it was like shaking and stuff like that so but it worked out so well like this whole thing was all just from from like kind of like almost just following my instincts and just whatever kind of things just popped into my head like that's how it, I got to this point this awesome day that I had today so basically um so I got the sewing machine and this comic convention was coming up and I saw some statuses on my friend's Facebook pages that they're saying that they only had a few weeks to go to get their costume ready for um, Oz Comic Con, and I'm like, oh, well, they're um, doing it, so maybe I should make mine as well. And so uh, it was like a Friday night, and um, they were going to go to Alex's house to play board games, and I, and I thought, oh, I'm going to just tell them the the real reason that I'm not going to go tonight, I'm going to stay home and make a lumpy space princess costume. And then Han, one of my friends, um, she was like, oh, that sounds really interesting. Like, she hasn't sewn for a while. She goes, you know, maybe you can bring it and we can, like, sew and game at the same time. And I'm like... Part of me was like, um, uh, I like to do things on my own, like, just come home and try to work out how to make this costume. But then at the same time, I just realized, like, my other friends, like, they often, like, get together the night before a convention, and they all sew together and make costumes together, and they have, seem to have, like, such crazy amount of fun, so I thought, you know, give it a shot, you know, why not? And so I said, yep, let's do this, so um, I brought my sewing machine, and I asked Han if she could show me how to use it, and, like, because of the voltage thing, I think the voltage is different, and, like, every time you touch it, it went, like, went nuts, but it's okay, I bought a transformer thing, so hopefully it will work okay. But luckily D had another beginner sewing machine, so Han showed me how to sew, and so I uh, yeah I I had bought this uh, material from Spotlight, um, and it was like really luckily lucky because this material, if you look at it, it's like um similar to the material like you know when you go to the shopping supermarkets and they have those bags, 
and it's like a material that's kind of hard so it's not floppy so if this was like normal material it would just flop down but just by happy coincidence not even me planning it I picked this because of the color like I thought the color and also cheap it was cheap as well it was like I don't know how many dollars a meter but I think I paid seven dollars for like two or three meters of it and I was, it was on sale as well there was a spotlight sale for like 40% off or something and so I saved a few dollars from it but yeah I didn't spend much on the material because I wanted basically this was like I was thinking of this was just as my beginner costume like just do something quite simple just to use the sewing machine but oh, it turned out so much fun like it's so cool um so Han showed me how to make it so I sewed around it and then I left it the rest of it I kind of just left it almost like a pro school project you know how in high school like you leave projects till the last minute I left it so late, like I bought the stuff, right, I had the material, I had I sewed this already, but I didn't even cut holes in it yet, I left it till like last night, I was doing it at like 11 o'clock last night, um, and I was up till like till 2 o'clock in the morning, just finishing it off, as if, as, if, as if I was doing like a high school project or something like that, but it was so much fun, like I, I kind of knew what I, I needed to have done, <laughs> you know before I even worked on the costume, I was cleaning my typewriter and stuff like that, stuff that was not essential, but I just felt like doing it, it's like procrastination or something, I don't know what it was, but anyways, so I'm so glad I did it, because at the time when I was doing it, I just felt like what I wanted to do, because I have this like list of things that just pop into my head, and I, I put them down on my phone, like, and this was one of them that I just wanted to do, and so I just thought, oh, I was just, just going to do it, and, you know, like, I've always like looked at people who, like, I've dressed up before, like, at friends' birthday parties and stuff like that, but never dressed up voluntarily like to a convention or not really um like properly like made a costume and I've never sewn my own costume before as well so that was exciting as well so I feel really proud of it um and so yeah so I did all this stuff like um yeah I've got all the stuff and I've got I'm gonna probably put up a video just showing all the steps I took to make it like just talking through it um but yeah I even had to buy like these are stockings oh stockings on my hands and on my legs same thing they're actually um stockings so I had to go to like Target and buy stockings that was alright I've bought a dress before for um I went as a bearded lady for something yeah Andrew's um circus party anyways yeah so today I went to um Oz Comic Con and so I it was at the Royal Exhibition Building which is in Carlton Gardens I think it's called Fitzroy Gardens, one of those, I don't know which one it is, and um, so when I got to State Library, I felt like um, it was just like maybe a 10 minute walk from the place, I thought okay, I'll just put it on now, like have a little bit of walk to get there, rather than like get changed right in front of it, so I thought, so I put it on, and it was like, kind of like, oh yeah, here we go, <laughs> you know, like going from normal clothes to like, because really where, where I was there walking towards it, there wasn't that many people in costume, maybe like, I saw maybe like, five people or something like that out of all it. whereas when I go to like Supernova and stuff when you catch the train to the showgrounds the train is packed with a, with people in costume so it was like a different experience but it was funny like when I first put it on I felt really kind of awkward like I was like oh but then and I was just trying to in my head like pretending like okay pretend like you're just wearing normal clothes or something like that but yeah and yeah so um it was fun I'm so glad and the cool thing was um when I got to the place um just as I was walking up, uh, this, this mum and her kids, like, two kids or something, they were like, oh, can we get a photo with you, and stuff like that, and I swear, when they did that, I was so, this was, like, the coolest, it was, like, I was so shocked, and I was like, oh, okay, sure, of course, I was like, oh, that's so cool, someone's asking me for a photo, because, like, at the conventions, um, I love going to, see, when people have costumes of characters that I like, I love asking them for photos, and it makes me feel so good, and, yeah, I really like it, so, this was really cool, like, it's like the opposite end of, the opposite side of it, so I was more than happy to have a photo with them, and the fact, that once they did that, I was so happy, I even, like, wrote a little diary entry on my phone, like, on my live journal, that someone asked me for a photo, um, and I was like, oh, my day's made already, and the cool thing was, it just, all, all, the cool, all through the day, like, so many people were asking, like, like, I'd be walking through and people would be like, hey, LSP, you know, Lumpy Space Princess, abbreviated for it, or they, they make references to, sh to the show, or they say, oh, I love your costume, and stuff, and, and things like that, and, and, like, later, 
later they um like there was a, a group of people where it was Finn, Jake and um Bubblegum Prince Princess Bubblegum and they grabbed me and um to take a, a photo with them, a group photo with them. How cool was that? I mean, it's so much fun. And like some cool things were like like I'd be talking to my friends sitting there and then my friends would be like, Oh, I think these people wanna uh, take a photo with you and they turn around and there'd be people waiting there, like um some people waiting there going, Can we have a photo with you? And everyone's really polite and stuff and um, I'm so excited when someone asks uh, to have a photo, but like I, I realize like it's because everyone loves the character so much. But I just I was having a blast, really really fun, and it's surreal too because like it felt like a famous person, like um, you know people asking to have a photo with you and stuff, and they were so happy when they did, and you know it was oh, I can't get over it. it um, so all these things that I did you know in the last few months just things like following my things that just came to my head like and all kind of just fell into place like um it was good I'm glad so that was nice oh and, and the cool thing is like I made new friends and stuff like that so yeah because of this costume like a yeah it's so cool and um another uh, yeah aside from the awesome fun of just yeah having people ask to have a photo with you which is awesome so I just want to quickly add before I forget like if you're like um a person who goes to conventions and stuff and you've never dressed up before I reckon if you feel like you want to you should just do it like I think you'll have a lot of fun um it's so fun like it's really different experience um going like without dressing up and dressing up it's it's different it's really different um it's, yeah it's it's really cool I really liked it um and afterwards uh my f I had another outing right and my friend Donovan had um a spud night where he organized a few friends to come over and have potatoes baked potatoes and stuff with all different toppings and um i thought oh well i'm I've, like i was gonna go straight from the convention to his house to do it and i was i've, I've got my costume on i thought oh why not wear it <laughs> i'll just wear the costume to his thing like how often i'm gonna be walking around with this um lumpy space press costume on so i put it on when i got to his house and um it turned out really well like uh, he liked it, his mum really liked it, and um, it turned out, like, there's a few people, like, Serena, uh, Don's girlfriend, had a few of her friends over, and uh, most of them were into Adventure Time, and they knew my costume, what it was, and it was so cool when someone knows what it was, it was, yeah, it was really, really fun, um, yeah, so I really enjoyed it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the costume while I'm here, <clears throat> That's me. Uh, you don't need to see really see the legs. And um, actually, I was wearing some slippers as well. I another thing with just following. I don't know what it is, but with just following um, just whatever pop thought pops into my head. On Wednesday, Friday, I think it was Friday. I was going back to my car, like, after just, um, walking around checking some, out some op shops, right? And I just wanted to go to this bakery for some reason. Because I felt like getting something from the bakery. So I went there, and then at the entrance to the place where I was about to turn in to get, like, the walkway through these shops, there was a guy there who's, you know those people who, um, they say they stop you to talk to you and then they ask you to like um, sign up for like some sponsoring something so I know what that's like it's because I because I don't I know I don't want to do it but I know that I will probably have to li listen to them for a few minutes so I just walk past him I was like I'm oh, sorry I'm too busy and so I walk past him a bit so I decided I'm gonna go straight down this road to get to my car and on the way I saw um, this kind of like uh, what do you call it like a two dollar shop kind of thing and I thought mm, maybe they got something in there so I had a look and then they had these purple slippers and it was perfect because they were really awesome they were perfect for the costume because they have they were purple with fur lining slippers and they were only like four dollars and uh, they had a little purple ribbon bow kind of thing on top of them so I thought that kind of looks princessy and um some, some people really enjoyed looking at the slippers like um my friend Vicky saw my costume and when she noticed the slippers she was just cracking up she'd go oh look at the slippers it was cool I, I really liked it so I liked that entire costume a lot and um oh cool and I get a fun Facebook profile pic out of it so that I really enjoyed that 
so it's cool. I liked it. And it, it feels good because, like, I made it as well. So it's cool. I liked it. All these thoughts. Yeah, everything worked out really well, like, last minute. It's cool. Mm. So I think that's all I want to say, that I had an awesome day, and it was it was really strange but awesome having people ask to have a photo with uh, me. It was really, really... Ugh. But uh, it was really, really nice. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Cool. So I think that's all. And yeah, so if you're thinking of doing a cosplay or something like that, I think you should do it. I think you'll have fun. Cool. See ya.